boys like this music, huh? Yeah, dude. It's Guitar Hero. Stan and Kyle are really good at it. Well, you kids want to see something really cool? Check this out. How do you troll somebody? Say really fucked up shit and make them quit social media? No, no, no. It's not about one person. It's about pushing people's buttons so that they'll react in a way that pushes other people's buttons. It's all about the group of people that are going to come to our defense. They're going to be so self-righteous that another group of people will eventually find those people totally annoying. You're just setting them against each other. It's like the fission reaction that sets off the fusion explosion. The internet does it all, and you just sit back with your glass of wine and laugh. Wow, that seems kind of mean. It's not mean if it's hilarious. If we all worked with you, Skank, could we do it? Could we troll an entire country? If we all work together? Maybe. It's this quick crossing that causes drivers behind to overbrake and begin a chain reaction. Your goal as a driver is to stay the same distance from the car ahead as from the car behind at all times. Always in the middle. This gives you the most time to prevent overbraking, but also gives the driver behind you the most time as well. And when stuck in traffic, this rule would get all cars to pull apart the snake faster. That's the simple solution to traffic, getting humans to change their behavior why traffic happens, why tailgaters are trouble, and how we can work together to make the roads better for all. Do you know why your business has failed? If their answer is no, then ask them if they know anyone in town who might be more worthy of your attention. If their answer is yes, have them lead you to their superior. Ask this new person if he knows anyone who has become rich. If the answer is Scratch roughly behind his ear or against the small of his back. Congratulate yourself. For you, my friend, just made a friend worthy of esteem. If his answer is no, then look upon this faithless man with no sympathy. Study him and the wretch who delivered him to you. Kind of an insane and concerning headline here that I'm seeing from Vulture and a myriad NYPD intervened here and decided that uh, the festival would not happen or could not continue as scheduled as long as these rappers were still about to perform, as long as they were still on the bill. Their reasoning behind this, I guess, was uh, over concerns of violence, but um, looking a little further into it, I'm just kind of curious as to wh where those concerns are coming from, where they lie, if there are legitimate threats or plans uh, that influence the NYPD's decision here. Uh, they're playing with their cards close to their chest and not exactly kind of giving us the full story. The backgrounds of the three rappers who have been removed from the lineup uh, vary pretty greatly.